Welcome back, my baby edgelords, to the Drunken Heathen Challenge, and this week we have this little disaster. Oh, that was really good. I was just sat here thinking, how can I throw away 20 seconds of my life? Why? What What was the fu- And you're playing it from the phone as well. What is the fucking point of that? Oh, fuck it. It's another 10 seconds, isn't it? And a possible copyright strike. So it's funny that I decided to wear red in this video. Is it funny, though? Because if I go around laughing at colours, I get called a fucking racist. Because guess what we're talking about today? Period! It's a cunt talking about cunts. That's so meta. Period! Stop it, you're giving my nose a period. Period! You wouldn't do that with anything else, though, would you? Like today, we're going to be talking about hemorrhoids. A lot of women don't even realize when they're being period shamed. Period shaming? Fucking hell, you will cry over anything. You know, because it's become such a norm in society to think of periods and menstrual cycles as disgusting. Well, let's be fair, they are. If men bled out of the bell end for five days a month, we wouldn't be skipping around celebrating the beauty of it all. As a curse, as... A, a problem. Well, yeah, most people see it as a problem. The only time anyone gets excited about their period is during a pregnancy scare. Right, everybody knows what a period is, okay? If you don't know what a period is... Run! You still have a chance! This is not the video you need to be watching. I will personally link a video right in this area right here. There will be a link here. Click whatever's right here. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's when the lining of the uterus is shed and comes pouring through your fuckhole like the elevator scene from The Shining. So that you can get the knowledge that you need um, to uh, catch up with the rest of us. No need. Uterus, fuckhole, elevator scene. I've done it. It took me about three fucking seconds. Having a cycle brings enough stress as is. Like... Your mood, you have mood swings, you have painful cramps, you will have tenderness in your breast, some women get headache and back pain. Well then, oh shit, I must be on my period because I'm feeling a massive pain in the ass. And your hair is really pissing me off. You've got loads of it on one side, but on the other side, three braids. You're gonna strain your neck. It's not anything that women can control. Women are going to continue to menstruate until there are no more women on the planet. And then I bet you we still have periods in the grave. You mean you'll still complain from the grave? Fucking armies of undead feminists rising up to complain about the price of tampons. No, that would really suck. No, vampires suck, and they never turn down a free meal, so you wouldn't need to worry about the price of tampons. Even after you die, like, you get to heaven, and God's like, Here's a box of tampons, because you thought it was over, but I lied. Well, if you're gullible enough to believe in God, you'll believe just about anything. Hashtag wage gap. That would suck. So I was having a conversation with my mom and she was like, well, why are you talking about it? And why do you have to call it period shaming? And when are you going to move out and get a real job? Like even her just asking me, why do I have to call it a period? Why can't I call it something else? You know, I agree. A period is just a bit boring, isn't it? There is a wide range to choose from, though. A visit from Aunt Flo, riding the Crimson Wave, having the painters in, on the rag, Code Red, Shark Week, The Blob and Making Jam are all acceptable. I mean, it's just continue to perpetuate the idea that this is something that shouldn't be talked about. It's something we should try to dumb down or water down so that it doesn't make anybody feel uncomfortable. And just what the fuck is wrong with that? Do you want it to be, I'm on my period, so sorry if I'm a bit fucked up today, or I'm on my period, ask me about it. Because if you want, we could get you one of those paint colour charts and you can keep everyone up to date with your progress. But I know a lot of women don't like talking about um, periods, let alone sex, sexuality, female parts, female problems. Personally, I wish a lot of people would shut the fuck up about female problems, but then that is what's paying the bills for me at the moment, so fuck it, carry on. A lot of females have to go through dumb mistakes and make 
silly and stupid mistakes because they just can't have a conversation about these things openly with anybody because it's such a big deal. But it's not a big deal though, is it? It happens every month. I mean, you should be used to it by now. It's like payday, but instead of money, you get stomach cramps. Like, it's such a, a taboo topic that people are uncomfortable. Therefore, you miss out on knowledge that you probably need to know. I thought schools took care of that, to be honest. Schools and mothers. I don't know anyone who's died from toxic shock, and that's not because they watched YouTube videos on the menstruation cycle. And to be fair, the only period-related injuries I'm aware of is from husbands and boyfriends having the television remote thrown at their head. Throughout history, periods have been saturated with all types of connotations. Alright, few things. Uh, one, it's connotations. Two, saturated. Very good word to use. And three, you could have said periods of history. You really missed a trick there. In the Bible at Leviticus 15, 19, it says that if you touch a woman that is menstruating, you will be defiled in until evening. Why did you put the quotation marks there? Most people would have put them on the word defiled. What have you got against the word evening? Is it because evenings are generally quite dark, so racist? What? Um, it also says that anything she touches or lays on will also be defiled. Alright, so put down a plastic bag first. Problem solved. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about the ban on plastic bags. Newspaper works fine too. If you read the Quran, it states at 2, 222, not to touch a woman until she's purified of it. Pliny the Elder. Oh, I know that guy. Wasn't he on Celebrity Big Brother? He is quoted saying that women's bites become poisonous, as in rabies when they're on their cycle. Come on, it doesn't actually say rabies, does it? Because if it did, that would be the best werewolf reference ever. We got rabies? Nah, you got cooties. That is why it's still a problem today, because it's been going on for so long. Yeah, but you are gonna think that if you read the fucking Quran, aren't you? They don't even have tampons in the Middle East. They just stuff you full of sand and stay the fuck away from you for five days. I mean, there's even in marketing and in advertising, people try to make periods seem like they're a curse and there's it's a problem well that is true i've never seen an advert with a woman on it going i love getting my period probably because it's not fucking relatable and we gotta go to war on periods oh come on you don't really want to spill blood over that sorry i'll stop then um they try to make it seem like if you use their feminine products you'll be fresher and purer and those fuckers trying to sell their products but then that's what you and tampons have in common. You're both stuck up cunts. When they try to make you feel like your period is a disaster and oh, you gotta beat mother nature's ass and all this. I have actually seen some quite tasteful turns on that. I've never seen an advert like, are you bleeding from the snatch? Are you leaving a trail behind you when you walk? Plug it up, you fucking animal. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous is a word used to describe something that is deserving of mockery. It also has the word dick in it, but if I were pissed off by that, I'd be offended full fucking time and just wouldn't have enough hours in the day. So on that note, well done on finding time to make a video with your busy schedule of getting pussy hurt over everything. Thanks for the challenge. Challenge, kind heathen, I will be sure to send you some faulty tampons, no strings attached. And be sure to check out Kind Heathen's channel, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, if you are on your period, don't rub it in my face.